subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel just overwhelming but i find a way to get use out of all of them now i do have the galaxy s4 but this phone no longer really works and it has a cracked screen on the front but i do have this one and the galaxy s9 the lilac edition that you've seen earlier this year i actually gave that one away to the girlfriend but we share it so i will be bringing it back for some videos later on but let's go on to the galaxy s5 so you've seen the galaxy s5 on my channel i really love the galaxy s5 because it was one of the first samsung's with the water resistance and it had the back that you know could come off and you could change the different colors you also had that battery door that would fall off but it was a pretty functional durable little samsung and it actually still works just fine to this day the galaxy s5 so that's the first one in the collection pretty decent camera but a little bit blurry on the selfie mode for this phone still got a great super amoled display here and a pretty compact body but not the most premium feeling samsung then samsung went to the galaxy s6 that one i don't have or the galaxy s6 edge or s6 edge plus i gotta add those in here the note 5 is the phone i have from that year and man was the note 5 a stunning phone to use and i think it's still a great phone these days if you could find it really cheap you still have s pen compatibility that's really similar to the galaxy note 8 and while it doesn't get any more updates it's still got a great screen that looks beautiful a great camera i use this camera to make many of my all-day battery vlogs that you've seen on the channel before just a fun phone to use and if samsung did an apple move where they went ahead and kept the big 16 by 9 display this is kind of what a 2018 you know iphone 8 plus for samsung would have looked like here and maybe would have flattened out that camera but you know galaxy note 5 was ahead of its time and it was really nice the only problem with it was no micro sd card expansion and the battery life was rather weak for the galaxy note 5 but other than that it was a phenomenal fun phone to use and then i got the galaxy s7 now the galaxy s7 i just got the android 8.0 oreo update let's go to about phone and let's take a look at the software information you can see android 8.0 oreo with samsung experience version 9.0 so it's got that same software like the galaxy s9 in terms of being updated so galaxy s7 still a very fast serviceable phone and it has a great camera dual pixel af it was the first one with the dual pixel af technology and i don't have quick launch on let me go ahead and open that camera where you could just put like anything in the frame and it would super fast focus great camera 4k this thing is still a very nice phone and i think that you can get it for like 200 bucks now which is a great deal it's cheaper than like a 6s and it has a lot more features than that phone the galaxy s7 edge is next now people loved this phone this was the cousin to the galaxy note 7 that you know what happened to that we're not going to go there again but the galaxy s7 edge survived and i got this beautiful blue color here the coral blue it's just really a nice color and this one to me i like more than the galaxy s7 because the curved display is just beautiful on this phone and this one also had a pretty great camera it's basically the same one as the galaxy s7 but just a bigger and better viewfinder so this camera is still plenty beautiful in 2018 you can get some stunning photos for the galaxy s7 edge but where the galaxy s7 edge really shined was its battery life its performance and just its good looks for the time it was just a stunning phone so i got the galaxy s7 edge here as well in the studio the galaxy s9 plus just turned off we do have the galaxy s8 up next now the galaxy s8 was like a mashup to me between the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge, the S8 Plus right here we'll get to next. It's just a bigger version of this phone. But the Galaxy S8 is one of my favorite phones. It's so comfortable to use. It's like, just look at the way that thing just sits in the hand. It's just so ergonomic. So if you're looking for a phone that's easy to one hand, this reminds me a lot of the iPhone 10. It's just lighter. The Galaxy S8 has got to be high on your list. This phone does everything and does pretty much everything well. And a lot of people are still buying this phone to this day so galaxy s8 still updated still beautiful and has really good ergonomics also the fingerprint scanner not in the best location but the camera is still on here the display is beautiful and it's a very comfortable daily driver in the galaxy s8 series infinity display introduced over there next up is the galaxy s8 plus now the galaxy s8 plus you've seen me cover this phone multiple times on this channel this phone is just a bigger version of the Galaxy S8. And to me, I like the smaller one a little bit better here because this is hard to reach sometimes up to the top. 
But overall, if you like big phones, this one with the Android 8.0 Oreo update got much smoother and faster to use on the day to day. So just using the Galaxy S8 Plus now, you probably don't even need an upgrade to the S9 or S9 Plus. It's been that great. So overall, a beautiful infinity display here on the top. You do have the amazing camera on the rear as well. This thing could shoot 4K. It's still on par basically with all the latest and greatest tech that you can buy right now in 2018. And you can see you get phenomenal photos here. This is a modern smartphone by all means. The Galaxy S8 Plus, you've seen it multiple times on the channel. Next up is the Galaxy Note 8. And you guys know by now, this is my favorite Samsung smartphone available currently until the Note 9 comes out next month. And the Note 8 I've had for almost a year now, and this thing just runs fantastic, especially on Android Oreo. The Samsung lag thing that people talk about, I've never had any lag on this phone, and I've had this phone for almost a year now since the original launch of this device, and I've covered it multiple times. That's the Galaxy Note 8. The biggest display out of all of these Samsung phones and the best stylus functionality you're ever gonna get on a mobile device in this Galaxy Note 8. Now I'm talking about like a smartphone, not the Apple Pencil, we're talking about a smartphone here. The only thing that's a downside of the Note 8 was that the size can be cumbersome, it's a square feel, so it's a lot to reach up to the top. And sometimes on Android Nougat, some apps didn't work properly for me, but overall there's been no lag and Android 8.0 Oreo fixed a lot of my problems here with the Note 8. Also the first Samsung to bring a dual camera system on board and I did a full detailed camera review on this phone as well where we went around the city of Chicago and basically just took as many pictures as possible. Next up is the Galaxy S9 Plus. Now the Galaxy S9 Plus is just to me a very, very refined version of the S7 Edge and the S8 Plus. It's just like the ultimate of those two phones combined, just fixed every problem there. And here's the Galaxy S9 Plus. Great camera, beautiful display, good ergonomics, more screen than ever on any Samsung dual camera, the first for the S series, fingerprint now in the right location. This phone hits all the marks for a Samsung device and I've had no lag with this and I've had great camera experience. You've seen one tiny lag that we had in one gaming video, but I'm talking about on the day to day, no issues. So the S9 Plus definitely in the high rankings for one of my favorite Samsung phones. It's probably second in line to the Note series. But if I use the S9 Plus, it's a faster phone than the Note 8. It has a better camera than the Note 8. It's just it doesn't have a stylus. So that's where the Note 9 comes in. So that's it. Those are all the Samsung phones in my collection right now. If you guys want to see any videos related to any of these pertaining to any of these that I missed out on, go ahead and comment your thoughts down below. I know it's not the biggest collection ever, but I kind of steer clear of the budget phones. I used to do some Samsung budget devices. I actually got rid of those, didn't keep those around. I only keep the flagships around now. And which Samsung phone do you use? Comment that down below as well. If you found this video entertaining, enjoyable, do me a favor, click that like button for me. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Be sure to be well and peace.